Do you find yourself continuously multiplying columns by a constant value in Excel and getting tired of doing it manually? Well, in this video, I will solve your problem so that you can save your time and focus on other important tasks. Hello there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn Excel and Excel VBA related problems. This is Sabrina Ayon and today we will learn how to multiply a column by a constant in Excel. So, let's get started. I'll show you four ways to do the work. Here, I'm using Microsoft Excel 365. You're free to use any other version that suits your needs. The data set I'm using here have the names of the employees, their starting dates, work hours per day, and salary. Suppose the company's CEO has decided to triple each employee's pay. This indicates that a constant value 3 must be multiplied by each and every cell in column E. Choose the first cell in the new column where you want to enter the multiplied values first. Then directly write the multiplication formula that you want to execute in the formula bar. Double click on the plus sign or just drag the field handle to copy the formula over the range. You will observe that the product has been inserted into every cell. You have now multiplied the entire column by 3. Using an absolute cell reference, you can also multiply a value by a constant. Now, what is an absolute cell reference? An absolute cell reference is one that has a dollar sign in front of column and row numbers. A cell reference is automatically increased across row or column when you use it in a formula in another cell and then drag the formula in the cell. When we utilize absolute cell reference, however, it will not change. There will be no row or column increases. In order to employ a new cell as an absolute cell, first choose it. And after that, insert the multiplier constant. Here I am choosing cell C13 and entering 3 into it. Now head over to the first cell in the column and enter the product of the multiplication there. Then using the absolute cell reference, for this, I just press A4 for my keyboard. Now place your mouse cursor in the first cell's bottom right corner and double click on the fill handle. This will fill each and every cell in the column. You have now multiplied the entire column by 3. Now I am using the product function to multiply a column by a constant. This accepts two or more inputs in the form of integers or cell references and outputs the result. We choose the first cell in the column where the product will be placed. There I just write the formula equal sign product E5 3 and then press enter. You must duplicate it for the entire column. So again, just double click on the plus sign or the fill handle. All of the cells will have the formula copied to them and the products will be added to them as well. The original column is multiplied and altered in this manner. Thus, make a copy of the original column in other column by selecting it and pressing Ctrl C and not making any changes to this original column. Here I have copied column E into column F. The constant number that you want to multiply has now been entered into a different cell. I have my constant value in cell C13. 
Now just copy the constant value, control C and select the column you want to perform the multiplication operation. Column F is what I have chosen. Right click on the mouse, select paste spatial, choose all from paste spatial dialog box, check the multiply box under the operation option, then click OK. You will observe that the copied number has been multiplied in each cell of the specified column. But there is a drawback in this. By default, Excel uses this action to create output in general format. You must do this manually by selecting the general option on the Excel Toolbar's Home tab if you wish to modify the output's format. I want the output in this case to be in currency format. So I'm choosing the output column. Go to home tab, general menu and select currency. The output will now be in the format currency, which is what I wanted. And that's it. You can use any of those methods which will fulfill your criteria. You can also download the practice workbook from the description box. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.